All right, here we are again, folks, with the last GPX 5000 test versus the ATX. The newcomer on the block. Everyone knows the uh, GPX 5000 is quite known for its uh, ability to punch deep. Deep, big targets like this one. Woohoo, look at that baby. 5.4 ounce slugger found with the GPX 5000. Uh, I told someone on the forum the other day it was 22 inches, but I looked at my notes and it was around 18, give or take an inch or two. We found a lot of other stuff at 22 inches, like relics and crap like that. Anyway, we're going to test this puppy out. Uh, see uh, see how they respond to this 5.4 ounce slugger. Like I said in another video, this ground is uh, it's just sand on top there's soil underneath here so it's uh, usually registers about 78 to 80 on my uh, AT gold so it's uh, you know medium hot not really that hot there is other hot areas in this area as well as Australia but you can do your own test down there when you get your hands on an ATX so we got a hole over there dug about 18 inches we'll measure it you know see kind of where we are and we'll test these two. I expect the GPX to maybe be a little louder. Maybe uh, the signal might be a little stronger uh, than that, but we'll see how they go. All right, we'll, uh, we'll do air test too before we bury it, just to show you. All right, be back in a second. All right, here we are. Here's our hole here. There's the nugget. Ooh, look at that. Did they get, it, get you excited? All right, here's the depth rat. What does that say? 18 inches? So we'll go ahead and toss this down there and we're going to do a uh, air test real quick before we throw dirt on it. There's the detectors. I'm going to fire them up. We'll just run over, scan over the hole here first. Uh, then we'll bury it. So I'm going to fire those up and I'll be back in a minute. Alright, uh, here we are with the GPX 5000, the king of the block. Uh, here's my, uh, what we got the front end cap on. Uh, fixed, mono. Oops, put it in normal for now. We'll flip it into special here in a minute. Uh, general, and then uh, about 1 o'clock for the threshold. And we're going to flip it into special here. Uh, extra, my favorite. Sensitive extra. We'll flip it into that and let you show, uh, show you how it responds to that. If I flip it on the uh, deep, uh, you know it's going to hit it. It, it. The tone changes. It's, uh, it's actually about the same response. So we'll just keep these two settings for now. Anyway, let's uh, do a little air sweep here over that nugget down there. I'm sure you can see it. It's so huge. See it down there, 18 inches. Ground balance a little bit. Pretty strong in air test. Let's flip it uh, into sensitive extra special. Ground balance real quick. About the same. About the same. And as you know, well we won't even do that. Put it in fine gold, it will miss it totally. So we'll just avoid that. We'll flip it back in uh, normal here. Cheek. Alright. So I'm gonna put this thing down, turn it off, grab that ATX. See how she does in air test. And then we'll bury it. And from what I figure, the uh, both machines will be degraded just a little bit. We put some dirt on it. We are in uh, motion mode. So let's see. Sensitivity, we are wide open here. Also a low tone like the uh, 5000 head. Oh, I guess we weren't over top of it. There we go. Looks like the uh, GPX is a little stronger as expected. Still, ATX hitting it 18 inches. Not 
to Chevy. All right, uh, let's I'm gonna go get the GPX. We'll bury this thing and uh, see how they do buried. Be back in a minute. All right, here we are, back with the uh, 5,000. And that nugget down there, 5.4 ounces at 18 inches, about. All right, we're gonna bury this puppy right now. Let me take a second. Whoop, picked up my foot. Foot detector. Where's all the dirt at? Seems like you never have enough to fill the hole in again. What is up with that? Where? Here? Okay, here we go. Where's my, my marker at? There it is. Get the dirt off the coil. Here we go. Oh yeah. It's about how it sounded when I when I got it, when I hit it. Originally. Just raise it up. About three inches here. Four inches. About five inches above it now. So we'd hit that at uh, 22 inches maybe. Is in the ground. Wee -hoo, wee -hoo. All right, let's grab the ATX while we're doing this. Cut this puppy off. Live shot here. Live news feed here. I'm just kidding. I'm fired up over here. Four beepages, that's what you want. What are we in? We are in non-motion mode. Sensitivity on 13. Give it a little threshold, do eight. Seems to help with some squeakies. Here we go. Oops. I did it. Okay, I think we heard it. Low tone, just like the uh, GPX. All right, let's go above it a little bit. We're at two inches now, and we have lost it. Now we're back on it. There it is. So we're two inches above the dirt now, we lost it. So uh, advantage GPX. Of course, it should be advantage, right? For $3,000 more dollars. More than that, 3300 I don't know. Anyway, pretty good performance uh, on that GPX, man. It's hard to beat that puppy on the deep stuff here. You know what? <laughs> we're getting it. I mean, wouldn't you investigate this? Kick off two inches and redo it? All right, so how do we get closer to that depth of the uh, King, the GPX 5000? How do we get close to that depth? Well, put it in non-motion mode. Get a little closer. It's going to be a little uh, more erratic here because we're closer to town. Seems so so far so good. Have to hit retune a little bit more. All right, we hit retune. Scan it. Hit retune again. There she is. I'm going to back off the sensitivity a little bit, make it more stable, see if she still hits it. This is all new to me. That's pretty good. It's about as loud as the mountain lot my lab, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's get rid of the threshold. I'm learning this the same time you are. Oops. There it is. So we backed off the power a little bit and lost a little depth. 
So between 12 and 13, there's a significant increase in, in, in power. Let's put it on that. I like that. Max. Alright, here we go. Much difference, huh? Alright, let's raise it up. So we're about two inches above now. Hit retune. So it looks like we can get uh, about two inches above the ground, which is 20 inches. 20 inches looks like max on uh, the 5.4 ounce slugger. 22, I believe we got for the GPX 5000. There you go, pretty cool. I report, you decide. As expected though with the GPX. I mean, that thing's known for getting deep honkers right new kit on the block a little cheaper not quite as much depth on the big honkers but uh you know you'd hear it probably wouldn't hear it at 22 inches probably would hear it at 20 inches but just get that bigger coil for this thing still be cheaper than that my little piece of advice